I'm here to let you know the way I was treated by uh, Theme Park Review. Now, if you don't know who Theme Park Review is, they post a lot of good videos, and they're roller coaster enthusiasts. They go all around to roller coaster parks. Well, I recently, my son said, hey, let's join it. So I said, why not? Since we got platinum passes to Cedar Point, I sent him in. I signed up for it. It cost $91.25. Sent it to Rob via PayPal. And then I followed up with an email saying, I, I joined me and my family to Club TPR. And I sent them $91.25 for the shirts and memberships. We are now going to Cedar Point today. I have yet to get added to your site and paid for my membership. Now, I will have... I will not have my card yet, but I sent my cash, and the kids are pumped for today. Little did I know, Coaster Mania happened the day before. I was still willing to stay in this, you know, and didn't renew it next year. I didn't care. I don't mind supporting them. But I won't support them after the way I was treated because he responded with this. This is, and I will post the whole email below. So make sure you check below. Um, here's what he responded as. And you... And you waited until the very last minute to email me. Sorry, I can't help you. You had emailed me prior to your visit. I would have been able to get it sorted out. I was thinking, okay, no problem. Then he came back with another email. I didn't even email him. Then he came back and says, um, I just checked your account. You joined today. It says right on the registration, it takes four to six weeks for your card to arrive. I am refunding your money. You're not the type of person that club TPR members. We don't want you as a member. I'm sorry, let me, re let me reread it. You are not the type of person we want as a club TPR members. So you should have said member, but that's fine. Um, and then he responded yet again, ten minutes later. Um, mind you, I will have everything that he emailed me, and I emailed him right below. Um, it says, I found it. It was not under the same name as you registered with, which is why it didn't automatically update in the system. Regardless, we don't want somebody as a member of our club that, that, that is immediately sends a message complaining about why they have not gotten their membership card. It clearly states the registration takes a few weeks. Your membership has been refunded. And I never complained. I was just, you know, letting them know, hey, you know, we were excited, uh, you know, thanks for letting us join. And now if we were to go to the Coaster Mania, we, I knew we wouldn't have had our club cards. So I figured maybe he could get a hold of them and let, you know, get it sorted out saying, hey, we got some fresh new ones that have not gotten their cards yet. So maybe it was miscommunication, but blatantly to treat somebody that gives you money to join your roller coaster enthusiast club, and it'd be treated like that, I think it's wrong. I think it's very wrong the way he handled it. It was very unbusinesslike and just very rude. I mean, I would never have treated somebody like that. I would have said, hey, what's going on? Let me see. Did you know it took four to six weeks? And I would have responded immediately with like, yeah, yeah, I knew it, but I just was hoping that maybe we could be a part of the Coaster Mania. But instead, he treated it, he handled the situation in my eyes just way different than with somebody that that is supposed to have a business stature, should handle it. Now, mind you, I sent a couple other messages. You will be able to read everything. I'm going to post everything in below in the YouTube video below. Check it out. Um, and make sure you share this video. Share it and let everyone see how I was treated by Theme Park Review. Thanks, Rob, the way you treat people. Maybe you should think about it, buddy. I mean, I kill people with kindness. Maybe you misinterpreted the way I made it made it in the email this is why i like to talk versus type because type is the most easiest thing to get taken wrong i sent mine at june 6 2 57 a.m he responded june 6 901 a.m was the first one then he responded at 9 25 and then at 9.35, I get, I get to respond. I sent him one email saying, you know, I was not complaining, but you can read that below. Um, I hope he, you know, rethinks the way, he, you know, responds to people's emails like that because to me that just came off very rude. And I guess I'm just going to have to go with another group. I'm not as a complainer like he thinks. Maybe he just had a bad day. I tried to, you know, even apologize. Sorry he felt that way, and he is yet to email me back. Thanks, Theme Park Review.